In this video, I'm going to run through how you can calculate gradients using Excel. And to do this, I've prepared two different sets of data so you can actually understand how these functions are working. The first data set that I've got is going to be for a perfect line where every single point lies on one line. And then I've got some quite random data where we're going to be looking at a line of best fit because there's no line that goes through all the points. So I'm going to start by showing you how you can use a built-in function to calculate a gradient, and that's called the slope function. So we're going to look at this cell here. We're going to select it, and then we're going to press equals. That's going to activate our access to doing calculations. Then we're going to type in slope, all caps, and then we'll have some brackets there. So we're going to be adding into the brackets our data. And it gives you some ideas of how to do this. So you've got your known Ys, and then you've got your known Xs. So you're going to start with your Y values, put a comma, and then put your X values. So we'll highlight all of the Y values here. Then, as I said, we'll put a comma, then highlight all of the X values. Then we press Enter, and it is calculated the gradient of that line. And I said this was a perfect line, so if we look at the plot of that, so insert, and then we select a scatter graph, we get this graph here. If you click on the points and then you right-click, it gives you this option to add a trend line. So we've now got a trend line just being calculated. So the trend lines appeared there. You've also got this option. So in format trend line, which should automatically appear, it says display equation on chart. And you get the y equals mx plus c equation, where that 2.5 in front of the x is the gradient. And that, of course, is matching up with that. And you can see it's passing through all the points. So you're getting the gradient of this line. If we look at our second data set, so we're going to do exactly the same thing. So we're going to go equals slope, and then we are going to do exactly the same thing, highlighting our y values, put a comma, then you're going to highlight the x values, and then we're going to do enter. So that's giving us the slope of this data, or rather the gradient, but you need to understand what it's actually doing. And if we look at the graph, you'll see what I mean. So we've got the graph here. And there is simply no line. You can't draw one line, one straight line that goes through all those points. It just doesn't exist. And that's a real problem for this gradient because it's not a gradient of a line that represents all of the data. It's actually the gradient of this trend line, which is the least squares model, which is a bit of linear algebra. That's how it's actually calculated, by the way. And so it's actually calculating the gradient of this line. And if we display the equation on the chart, you can see that. So we've got y equals 2.4x, that's our mx, which is 2.4 being the gradient. And that is, of course, matching up with our gradient here. So remember that the slope function is calculating the gradient of the line of best fit. So I hope you now understand how to calculate a gradient in Excel using the slope function or using a graph and that you're actually getting the line of best fit where the data isn't represented by one line. That's very important to understand. And finally, I'd like to thank you for watching this video.